Are you having problems taking down the mighty Snap Maw? Ah, I'm gonna kill myself! Don't worry, you're not alone. The Snap Maw can be a difficult enemy to face, especially if you don't know how to take him down. I'm going to kill myself and it's your fault! In this guide, I will provide you with the tips, tricks, and skills that will show you how you can take down the Snap Maw. Hello everyone and welcome back to King T Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Horizon Zero Dawn and looking at how to take down the Snap Maw. Now the Snap Maw has three parts to its body. It has its body, its blaze canister, and its freeze sack. Its body and the blaze canister are both weak to fire, so you're going to be wanting to have your fire arrows ready. And its freeze sack is weak to precision arrows and is located underneath its throat. The blaze canisters are on the top of its head. Now, the types of attacks that you that you can expect from the Snap Maw are a lunge attack, as you're actually fixing to see here. It lunges out of the water, or lunges while it's still in the water, or it can also fire an artillery type attack of uh, freezing elemental damage. And once it lands onto the ground or on you, it will keep damaging you over time. So if it does hit you with it, you're going to want to move quickly out of the way of the freezing area of effect. Now, as you saw there, I uh, erupted the blaze canister on its back. That's what you're going to want to aim for whenever you're facing these guys. Um, you're going to want to try to explode the blaze canister that is located on its back. That is extremely important because it causes maximum damage and it really uh, speeds up the process of killing the Snap Maw. As you can see there, that is the artillery attack that you can expect from the Snap Maw. And my tip against this for fighting Snap Maws, as you can see here, is I'm fighting them from above. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! So you want to attack them from higher ground because they can't lunge at you from there and they will have a hard time shooting their artillery shot at you as you can back away and then come back whenever it's done. You'll generally find snap maws in areas that have a water source, so in a lake, in a river, and they'll be on the land around it or they'll be swimming in the water. So before you do uh, any traveling through these types of areas, be wary and don't just start swimming in, in some water if there's a snap maw that could be possibly in it because that is the worst case scenario. It'll hunt you down and you can't do anything about it if it catches you in the water. So you definitely want to be able to keep your distance because the lunge attack is very deadly. It can close a large amount of distance in a short amount of time and it, it's very deadly so you just want to stay up high and you want to aim for the blaze canisters on its back its body is also weak to fire so even if you miss you'll still be getting extra fire damage on it and just keep firing away until the blaze canister erupts and it goes down And now I'll show you guys some footage that I took of me taking out an entire herd of snap maws using the methods that I just told you. As you can see, there are one, two, three, four snap maws, and I'll engage them by shooting the blaze canister on this first one. Of course, from a high vantage point, and it explodes and deals area damage to the surrounding snap maws. So now. Three of them have taken damage, and now I'll continue attacking his second blaze canister, and boom, there it goes, that one erupts, and now they've all taken significant damage, and I can just continue poking away at their blaze canisters uh, from the safety of this higher ground, and they're just, they're all in shock, because they're like, man, this guy knows what he's doing. And uh, you can easily do this, uh, you just have to know uh, how to engage them, really. And that's the, that's the secret, and that's the key to taking down the Snap Maw. 
Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, and I'm gonna see you guys in the comments. So comment down below uh, what enemy you want me to take down next, and let me know about some of the future content that you wanna see from me, whether it be in Horizon Zero Dawn or in another game. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a good one.